Hello there, I am Giant Grodd with more Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we got here to Golden Run City and we did some sightseeing going around Golden Run City and seeing what we can do around here. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to uh, show you guys that all I promised that in the last part that all my Pokemon would be level 19. And as you see right there, they are in level 19. So yeah, as I'm going through the list though, I don't think anyone learned anything new unless I told it wrong. I don't know, Oliver didn't learn anything new. Neither did, uh, well, I think, uh, Soulpuck may have went to Water Gun. I think I was level 13 or something. Um, Sand True, Sanders, um, uh, I don't think he learned anything new, except for maybe Poison Sting at one level, I can't remember. Unless he already had that, you know. Um, there's Boys, my Growlithe, uh, nothing new right there. I don't think that, uh, Boys learned. And then finally, uh, Megan, uh, uh I don't think she learned anything, or I don't think he learned anything new. And then, of course, there's, um, there's still the egg we have here. Which, uh, hmm. I thought we already took time to try to hatch it, though. Unless, oh, no, this is the odd egg, not the Togepi egg. Okay, that makes some more sense. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so, um, we're gonna continue on, I guess. So let's go into the gym. I have, a. Uh, Oliver friend because Oliver uh, evolves at level 20, so that's why I have Oliver friend because I want Oliver to evolve soon. So yeah, let's talk to the Vice Giver. Yo, champion making. Uh, this gym is the home of two normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fine type Pokemon. Okay, yeah, I don't have any fine type Pokemon or fine type moves though. Go on to the Pokemon gym. Okay, yeah, that's what it says. Okay, so we're gonna make our way through this gym pretty easily. It's a very short gym. I think there's only like four trainers plus the gym leader, which should be too hard to take down. Oh, you're a cute little trainer, but the gym leader is kind of tough, honestly. Whitney, with her milk tank, always using roll and stuff. Okay, I like you, but I'm won't hold back. Okay, that's fine. That is fine by me. Here's Beauty Victoria, okay. She has, I think she has three centrets. One's level 9, one's level 13, one's level 15 if I were to guess. Based off of her memory. Swift attack please, yeah there we go. Way to go Oliver, nice. Does a little bit over half an action when he kills it, awesome, nice. Cool. Nice, okay. So which is another centret that will stay in with Oliver. I'm hoping level 19 will be a uh, high enough level for Whitney though, but you could, yeah, I could be totally wrong here. So, uh, yeah. Let's go for the another Swift, I guess. Yeah, see this Sentry is level 13. I think the last Sentry she has is level 15. But I think Sentry's ball is like level 14 or 15, so... I don't know why it's still Sentry if it's that high of level, you know? But, you know, I don't control if trainers, you know, evolve the Pokemon. Oh, this one's even level 17. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers. Nice. Okay, Swift does about half. So I'm gonna go for another Swift attack. The Sentry's gonna go for a Fury attack. It hit three times, as you see right there. So yeah, let's take on Swift together. Let's use another Swift, I should say. There we go, nice. And Oliver is about halfway up to level 20, I should say, actually. Yeah. Let's see, oops, it's over, I'm sorry. Thanks for have 1,496 Poké Dollars, though. And if you, you are, if you look closely, this gym is actually shaped like a Clefairy, which is kind of cool, I guess. So yeah, here's another um, beauty I'm going to take her on, I guess, for experience. So yeah, give me your best shot, and I'll t or I'll take you down. Okay, I will take, I will give you my best shot, then. You don't have to worry about that. This is, this is pretty Samantha. And she has a Meowth, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go for Swift again, honestly. This Meowth is level 16 and female, so that's pretty cool. Let's go for Swift attack again. Let's go for Bite, okay. Critical hit, and it flinched. No! I want you to do that. I guess Swift actually hits that time, nice. Let's go for another Swift attack. Let's go for Scratch attack, okay. Yeah, all birds went alone HP, geez. Okay, I'm gonna stay in with Oliver, honestly. Because, uh... That's what I wanna do. <laughs> okay. So, let's see here. Let's go with the, um... Go with the Super Potion, I guess. Yeah, cool, nice, okay. 
Let's get slashing us now, jeez. Dang it, oh my gosh, this thing's faster than Hoot Hoot is. My Hoot Hoot, I should say. Let's go for this, Bros Brosso, because Brosso has a good physical defense, I guess, so we can give it a shot there. Um, we can go for Headbutt, I guess. Headbutt would be probably the best bet. Yeah, okay, I forgot Bite was super effective. Shoot. There you go, Headbutt hit the, hits that time. Way to hang on, Brussel. There you go, nice. Thanks for the 1,408 Pokedoys, it looked like. So I guess we can go on to the next, um... The next trainer, which I think there's only two more trainers left, and then the gym leader, which is pretty nice. So here's a, I think this is the last carry. <laughs> Don't let my Pokemon's cute fool looks fool you, they can whip you. That is true, so I have to be careful. Okay, so this is Lyas. Last carry, that's right, nice, okay. She's a snubble, nice. It's level 18 and female, so that's cool. Let's go for the swift attack on this thing. Yeah, okay, let's see how much bite does. Oh, like it does a, like 8 HP, okay, so we're in good shape still. I'm gonna have to keep on just shooting swift, I guess. Two more swift should take it down. Charm is gonna f <laughs> well, it offers attack sharp, which kinda sucks, to be honest. Yeah. Just bite on us again. Yeah, okay, whatever. There we go, bite again. Let's go for another Swift. Hopefully, I'll take it out. There we go, awesome. There we go, nice. So close to holding up. So dang close. Tauren, I thought you were weak. I'm sorry, but thanks for the 432 poke dollars. And he has one more trainer here. I like cute Pokemon better than uh, strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. That's good then, I have a mixture of both, that's cool. Why well, Bridget would like to battle, of course, she has a Jigglypuff. Okay. So, uh, this Jigglypuff probably knows Sing. I switch out, obviously. Let's go to Brussel again. No, Brussel is low on HP too, let's go to Sanders then. Okay, yeah. Defense co, cool. okay. Good for you, Jigglypuff. Let's go for the smuts up, I guess. Defense co, cool. jeez. Ah, man, I'll see you guys when I'm done with getting this thing down. This is my takeaway, honestly. So I'm gonna see, it. I'm just gonna cut ahead to where this thing's almost fainted or when I f have the final blow on this thing. But yeah, we got to at least ha over half, but it's still gonna take a little bit more time, like a couple more turns. Okay, let's see, is this enough to weaken it down? Okay, yeah, it is cool. That was awesome, nice. Over good level 20, awesome. Sanders also grew, um, gained 121 experience points, that's awesome, Jigglypuff. Um, let's stay in with Sanders, I guess. And again, I'm just probably cut, cut to head where this thing's done, um, in the red health, I guess you could say. Just to save time. Okay, use disable there, but it failed. Nice. That's, like, that's what I like to see, man. That's what I like to see. But then the Jigglypuff goes down. Awesome. Cool. She has one Pokemon. It's another Jigglypuff. Okay, I'm gonna stay in with Sanders again. Jeez. You know the drill. I'm probably gonna cut to where it's in the red health again. Okay, the Scratch should faint it. And it does, awesome. Nice, okay, last Bridget was defeated, good. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> Next for 360 Pokemon dollars, sorry man. Okay, Oliver is evolving, what Oliver is evolving? Yes, Oliver is evolving into Noctowl, yay. Very good, nice. Awesome. 
Congratulations, you're over involved in two Noctowl. Nice. I like it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do back is go back to this Pokemon Center and heal. But I'll show you guys the way to get out quicker, I guess. So just maybe the same amount of time. But there's also an ultimate way, alternate way you can get in and out to get the gym way to get to the gym way to Whitney. Just go through here, take the path, take the path I'm taking, and you'll make your way back to the front of the gym. So I'll see you guys in a second. I gotta heal my Pokemon real quick. Okay, here we are back in the front of the gym. I healed up my Pokemon. I'm just gonna go around this way to get the Whitney. I think it's slightly faster than going all the way around, but I could be wrong. It could take the same amount of time. I'm not for sure. Whitney's gonna be a hard gym way to, to defeat, but hopefully we can do it, you know, that'd be awesome. So let's talk to her from the side, yeah. Okay, hi, I'm Whitney. Um, everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Uh, Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Okay, yeah, let's battle. She's good because she has a milk tank that knows rollout and does double the damage every time the rollout successfully hits your Pokemon in the battle, so yeah, I guess this skill or something or being equivalent to being great at Pokemon, you know. Um let's go for the razor leaf on this thing. Just to lead it off. Um yeah, so this Clefairy is level 18 in female, so we're one level higher than it. Let's get his double slap, but it missed. Okay, good. Let's get for another razor leaf then. There we go. Nice. Two razor leaf hits in a row. Nice. Awesome. Okay, yeah, she's gonna use double slap this time. It only, do, it only does, uh, well, it's 3 HP each, so that's good. Oh, the awesome was a critical hit, though. Okay, yeah, you hit. It's self confusion. Nice. Razor leaf missed. Oh, shoot. Now let's get his Metro Mom. Let's get your self destruct. Are you kidding me? Like, of all the moves it could have had, of all the moves it could have chosen, it chose the self destruct. That sucks. No. No one, we don't get the experience for the Clefairy now. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I'm gonna go to Oliver, because I know this, uh. Wait, no, shoot, that's a bad choice because. Because I thought, I was thinking back in f with Faulkner having Mudslap on his Pidgeotto. <laughs> I thought it was Mudslap too, but I forgot. Actually, Whitney has freaking Milk Tank and it has Rollout, which is a rock type move, which is super effective against, uh, which is super effective against, you know, all because he's half flying type, you know? Let's try to put it to sleep, honestly. No, it's getting attract. Fudge. No, no. This, this is gonna, oh my gosh, this sucks. This sucks so much. Okay, hypnosis is still it. Awesome, nice. Okay. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just switch out. I don't know if switching out gets rid of the infatuation from a track, but I could be wrong. Let's go to Sanders, I guess. Because Sanders can resist a uh, roll at a combo. So that's good. Good thing hypnosis hit there. If it could just be, if it just could be sleep for one more turn, that'd be awesome. Because then we can lower this accuracy with Mudslap, too. There you go, nice. Okay, cool. Mudslap, okay, cool. I think we can still win this battle. It's accuracy fill? Okay, good. It's fast asleep still. Let's keep on using Mudslap. Just to load its accuracy so it's like super, super terrible at, um, and it won't like it hit, um, Sanders with a rollout or anything like that. Or Stomp. And a Stomp, Milk Drink, uh, Rollout, and, uh, I think, uh, Stomp, Rollout, uh, Milk Drink, and, uh, I forget the other move, Retract. Okay, yeah, the fourth move was Retract. Just off the cue, just off my off base of what I've seen of this milk tank, I know it's moveset, so that's good. So yeah, hopefully we can just lower its accuracy where it's like super super bad. Okay, finally woke up, but that's okay. Attract missed. Okay, yeah. So with this, yeah, with opposite gender, so Sanders could get attracted by um milk tank, but luckily that's not the case. Okay, Stomp's gonna hurt. Yeah, I did about a third of um, Sanders max HP. Jeez. No, it's gonna use a milk drink soon if it gets a chance, so that kind of stinks. No! I had to jinx it. I jinxed it totally there. Okay, yeah, it's, at least it's not fully healed. Completely. It's still missing a silver of health. But that gives us more chances to lower its accuracy. But I think it's done lowering well accuracy if it doesn't say it will actually was lowered. I could be wrong though. Yeah, okay, so yeah, cool. Let's go to, um, let's go to reach poison sting to hopefully poison it. Because I was actually gonna use. Megan's uh, poison powder on it to slowly weather it to um, where it get poison stuff, but I guess not. We can try another. We can try another poison thing. Although I just kind of chance it there because with that stomp would hit that mate could have fainted. Um, that could have fainted uh, Sanders. And oh my goodness, I didn't heal. Shoot. Oh man, that sucks. Okay. Um. Let's go to Blaze. I guess Blaze is weak against the roll attack. 
But hopefully with its um, accuracy award, it does help a lot, so that's good. Let's go to Ember. Let's use Ember on this thing. It's going to stomp anyway. Dang it. Maybe we can burn it, because it cuts its uh, uh, physical attack in half if it's burned. So I can try for another um, uh, Ember. It, a good thing stomp misses again. All those mud steps kind of paid off, honestly. Guess she's another Ember. Stomp miss again. Awesome. I'm in good shape right now. That's good to know. That's so good to know. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's use one more Ember. Hopefully, nope. Milk Drink's gonna be jerking. Okay, hopefully it only has like... I, wanna, hopefully, I hope Milk Drink only has like 5 PP on it, usually. Just like Synthesis only has 5 PP in this game. Like, like in most games, but yeah. So it's already used two milk drinks, so it only has like three milk drinks left at the in the worst in the best case scenario. If it has five PP for milk drink. For the move milk drink, I should say, there's three okay. Yeah, because all she can do is really heal and try to stall. So we, we gotta like it backed up in a corner really if you think about it. So that's good. You can just keep on using Ember. Hopefully it can like burn it or something, that'd be nice. Just stomp again. It hits this time on Blaze. Okay, cool. Well, that's actually not cool, actually, but... I keep on using Ember, I guess. I'm gonna use a Super Potion to heal up, um, Blaze, though. I have one more Super Potion left. Let's use on Blaze. Yeah, it's gonna miss- it's gonna miss 1 HP, because it, it- only restored 50 to 50 HP, but that's okay. Okay, let's go for, um, I need to go back to my pack shoot. Let's go for another Ember. Let's get his Milk Drink again. Of course it is. Hopefully that's the second to last Milk Drink you can actually use. Because uh, Whitney's not even confident enough to use rollout to tell her milk thing to use rollout on us. So that's good. That's good on our, That's good to know. And she could, she's gotta be running low on stomps as, uh, soon, sooner than later. Like it went out of PP for stomp. But yeah. Stomp keeps on missing though. But like that time it hit of course. So yeah. Oh it flinched. Oh shoot. Oh man. I don't really. I could try using a potion. Hopefully it can stay in the reds. But I could be wrong. I don't know if that's enough to keep it from using stomp or fainting from fainting ways from stomp by using stomp. Okay, cool. That's I mean that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Okay, so let's go to um. So we can go to Bursa next because Bursa could resist stomp, I guess, because it's high, it's high defense. Let's go for the headbutt, I guess. Let's go to the track, but it failed. Okay, yeah, all my Pokemon so far have been male so far, so the track does work because it's the opposite gender. Guess gonna use um milk drink. Dang it. Hopefully that's the last milk drink you can actually use. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice, honestly. Let's go for another um, headbutt stomp and miss. That's good. Okay, yeah. Let's go for another, let's go for another headbutt, I guess. Okay, I think it has like 10 PP at this point because I think it's used 5 or 6 by now. She's just stalling, which kind of sucks because she can actually win this way. Honestly. Yeah, good thing Stomp missed that time. Good. That's what I like to see. This is what I like to see, man. Stomp missed. Okay, good. I want to see how much the Water Gun does next, just to compare the moves side by side. Okay, cool. Because the Water Gun always gets the same type of attack bonus. Oh my gosh, you're going to keep on using Milk Drink? Oh my goodness. Hopefully uh, Milk Drink always 10 PP, because I think she's at least used it 6 times by now. But whatever. Uh... I think headbutt does a little bit more, so I'm gonna use headbutt. Can see how much this does. It does about maybe a fifth of his HP, or maybe a fourth of his HP of a of a Bristol, I guess. Yeah, good. Good thing stomp missed there. Whatever move it tried to use there. Let's go for another um headbutt. Okay, cool. Yeah, stomp keeps on missing. That's what I like to see. Let's go for an oh no! Oh my gosh! You're gonna keep on using milk drink. This is what's so annoying about this battle, is you can stall, and stall, and stall. And it's not fun for the player, honestly. It's just not fun. Let's keep on using it. Let's keep on- Oh my gosh. How many milk drinks do you have? I should have looked that up before doing this video, but whatever. Honestly, because I would know. That would be good to know how many milk drinks she has. On a milk tank. Check, but it felt good. Let's keep on using headbutt then. How many headbutts do I have left? I have four. Jeez, okay. Well, it missed. Okay, good. Nice. Tracked, but it felt good. Just wanna freaking faint you by this at this point, you know? I'll faint your milk tank. 
Oh my gosh, milk drink again. Jeez. I know I can win this battle if she runs out of milk drinks. I should have already. Technically, I should have already won this battle if she didn't use any milk drinks. But as a move, as I told her, milk tank, milk tank to use any milk drinks. But nope, it's this battle just has to be annoying. Okay, let's go to water gun then next. Attract, but it felt good. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see, man. Nice. Okay, yeah. Oh, it hit that time to shoot. So let's get, keep on doubling in power. Okay, hopefully I can knock it out with water gun before it runs out of... I kind of wanted to keep on using oil because it's in the... Then it's locked into that using that move. But I could be... But whatever, man. Whatever. Attract. Oh, dang it. Shoot. Hits this time. It's not good. Okay, yeah. Water gun. So use water gun. Okay. Hopefully one more water gun after this should faint it. Yeah, one more water gun. So if I can get one more water gun, that'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah, use water gun. Awesome. We were able to defeat Whitney. It took a long time, but we did. So that's awesome. Nice. Okay. Weird Whitney was defeated. Awesome. Sob. Wow, you're mean. You shouldn't have, you've been so serious. You shouldn't be so serious. You, you child, you. Thanks for 2,000 pocket dollars. Wah, wah, sniffle. Hick, you meanie. Okay, I said hick, or I tried to say hick there, but it sounded funny, I guess. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Okay, let's talk to her again. Sniff, what, what, did you want a badge? All right, he, I forgot. Here's the plain badge. We get the plain badge. This is a very plain badge, as you can see. I'll show it off in the uh, trainer card in a second, though. Uh, the plain badge lets you plain badge lets you, you your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. It also boosts your Pokemon's speed. Uh, it doesn't really. We're just saying that, honestly. Oh, you can have this too. This is Team Forty Five, which is attract. You can attract the opposite gender of um. Of the Pokemon, it doesn't work if this Pokemon you're trying to use it on is the same gender as your Pokemon that, you, that has it. Well, it doesn't move, so yeah. Okay, so yes, yeah, we put that on the team spot. Cool. As a track, it makes full use of Pokemon's charm. Isn't that just perfect for a cutie like me? Sure, why not? Yeah, let's make our way out of here. I'm surprised. This is my first take doing this whole video of doing the doing the um. Uh, the Golden Red City Gym, and I <laughs> beat Winnie on my first take, so that's awesome. I was afraid it was going to take a couple takes to defeat her, because she's pretty hard with that roll combo and the stupid milk drink. You, she at least used milk drinks seven or eight times in that battle. So that's crazy, you know? A lot of milk drinks, I should say. She won, great. I was busy admiring the ladies here. Interesting, okay. Golden Red City Pokemon Gym, Weirdo Whitney, Winnie Trainer Steven. Awesome, we're on the pack, or whatever. Nice. So I think if we go next door, we can't actually get the squirt bottle yet. And she just says, "Have you seen that wiggly tree that's going on, uh, dancing, or whatever, on Route 23 or something?" My little sister is all got excited, and I want to see it. Uh, I'm worried. Isn't that dangerous? Yeah, let's actually meet her sister later on. So that kind of stinks. Actually, we can do it later. Um, I'm at um, I think I'm at like 25 minutes, just almost 26 minutes of recording time. If I read that correctly on my timer. From my recording software, but um, yeah, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon, heal up my Pokemon real quick. So yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do before I end this off, off this part is I'm gonna hatch my um odd egg. So yeah, so let's have Megan up front, I guess, because if you go to the summary of the odd egg again, it says I wonder what's inside. It's gonna need more time though, so that's interesting. So I'm gonna cut away to where I have um. It hatched, I guess. I'm gonna pop my bicycle to go a bit faster. So I think there's like a big, uh, long line you can do, like right here. Yeah, okay, let's see how long this goes. If we could just go up straight. It should lead us all the way up to right here. So this is a good line to hatch your odd egg if you wanna do it at this point. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll see you guys back when uh, this is a hatched egg, I should say. When my odd egg hatches, I should say.
So see you guys in a second. Okay, um, so uh, I'm in the middle of, uh, still hatching the egg, and I've kind of skipped through some of the dialogue, but it's, uh, the bike shop manager says, Oh, Steven, the, um, bike, bike sh sales at my bike shop have gone through the roof. I'm guessing it was the first part. I get, it's like, oh, I'm, uh, my bike sales have gone through the roof or something along those lines for the first part of the dialogue. Yeah, we owe it all to you. You're, adver to, you're advertising by riding around the, our bicycle. Um, I, as a way of thanking you, please, Keep the bicycle. Thanks again. Quick, quick, quick. So that's pretty cool. We can keep the bicycle. We don't have to worry about returning it. So that's awesome. And uh, I think you get that call depending on how many steps after you receive the bicycle that you borrow from the bike shop. So that's pretty cool. Again, I'm gonna cut to where we um where um the egg hatches and stuff. The odd egg hatches. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Still. Okay, so with that, um, I threw a little bit of training, like, running into some drowsies and that last one, which is actually, the Pokemon I just fainted was a rat, uh, making me level 20, awesome. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm doing a little bit of training too, I guess, because I'm going to run into water cameras anyway, so why not try to, um, to, um, defeat them, I guess, for experience, I guess, you know, that's kind of cool. So once again, I'll see you guys when my odd egg hatches. Huh? Yeah. So the odd egg is hatching finally, yay. Awesome. A mag be nice. A mag me came out of its egg. Nice. But I already have a fire type, um, so I'm not gonna use mag me, I guess. It'd be cool to use a magmar, but uh, I already had plans to catch to use a growth instead. So yeah. So that's cool. Um, let's name it magma. How about that? Mag, ma. I think I spelled that right. Nice. So uh, let's see its summary real quick. Um, let me pull up its summary. I guess you could say. It starts with all these art. You can get like a smooching, which is a people from a jinx, an elicate, which is a people from a uh, lucky buzz, a um, a Pichu, which is a people form of a Pikachu, and a Magmi, which is a people form of a Magmar. So that's pretty cool. Let's just, let's look at that summary. That was Ember and Dizzy Punch, cool. I would like to use this on my team, but uh, I already have a fire type, I guess, so, yeah. So yeah, let's um, heal the Pokemon first. And then we'll put the, um, put this Magma in the PC, I guess you could say. On my previous playthrough, I actually I remember, you know, my safe off at the 3DS virtual console of Crystal, Pokemon Crystal, I actually, I had, my art egg was a Pichu actually, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's uh, go to Bose PC, and deposit Pokemon, and deposit a Magby, which is a Magma, I guess you could say. So yeah, now I have an empty slot on our party, so that's pretty cool. Because we only have one more party permanent team member to, uh, to catch and stuff and to raise on our team, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah. So in the next part, well, this has been the, this has been the, my Pokemon Crystal walk to get part. The next part will take on the route south or north of here, north of Golden Road City, and I will make it to um, hopefully my Hogany Town too. That'd be awesome. Which is the next city where you can get a gym badge. So yes, yeah, so this is Jericho again. I have other things which you can goodbye. And I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide. <laughs>